all right people it is brad the lab back again with another video and today um it's a very different kind of video today um it do not really affect me but um i just want to bring you some news in case you didn't know huddersfield town have sacked jan siever their manager um tonight after a 2-1 home defeat against fulham which is actually tonight and um I've got um, Huddersfield Town friends. My first ever footy game was against Huddersfield. I went with a friend as well. And, um, you know, I kind of live around, uh, not so far away from Huddersfield. So, yeah, Huddersfield um, have sacked their manager. And I don't think it's any surprise, really. I think he's, I, I mean, what hope did he have? At, at Huddersfield Town, honestly, I mean, he, he was pretty much useless, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I've never really been fond of the guy personally. If I was a Huddersfield fan, um, you know, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't, weren't really particularly fond of him. Some some people were, but I I would wasn't really, you know. I, I'm usually quite, um, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, maybe, you know, I don't. You know, usually I, th I just think, you know, I look at a manager, I think, oh, he's, he's an all right guy, I don't mind him. But it's just something about Seaver that didn't really, you know, give me a bit of a distaste in a way, you know. I weren't really keen on him. I heard, I have heard some stuff about him, you know. Phil Billing, who's gone to Bournemouth, he was at Huddersfield Town. And he said um, he was a bit arrogant, like um, he'd won five Premier League titles. Um, and, you know... It, he just, uh, you know, he just seemed like an angry person, really. You know, he was always angry and everything. And, um, you know, uh, I weren't really keen on him as a manager, you know. And I'm not even a Huddersfield Town fan, you know. And um, uh, I, uh, you know, obviously my Huddersfield friends, would you, you know, comment below who would you want to take over as the manager. Um, you know, uh, Sheffield Wednesday still don't have a manager. Um, at the moment, as well, I've noticed that as well. You know, I like I like to look at like the local teams and how they're doing and stuff. So, um, you know, around the West Yorkshire area. So, yeah, Huddersfield have sacked Jan Seaver. Um, personally, you know, you you you've got to look at your options. Um, you know, Chris Hutton's available. Um, he did well at Brighton. Um, you know, kept them in the Premier League twice. Although he did struggle towards the end as a, as a manager. Sam Allardyce is available. I don't think he'd go uh, to Huddersfield, Sam Allardyce. He did actually play for them. Uh, David Moyes is available as well. There's experienced Premier League managers, you know, the the ones that he always linked with, with moves, you know, with linked with... <coughs> I was about to cough there. Um, link with, with other jobs. So, yeah, um, I don't know. It's... Um, it's not a surprising decision, but um, I think Huddersfield fans might be pretty pleased about that news. And you know, um, I'm uh, I'm gonna start like watching more Championship games and like paying more attention to it as the Premier League as well. Um, you know, um, who knows what? Who knows who's gonna take over? Um, you know, I like to sometimes like to, to commentate on some games as well. You know. Um, you know, possibly from the future. Some some of you guys know about it already. Um, you know, people that know me. I'm on um I'm on my friend uh, Andre's chat a lot. Um he's taking a break at the moment, so um but yeah, I mean um it's not really a shock. Um and I think you know, you gotta look at managers like Chris Shooton. I don't think you you should go for Tony Pewers personally, he's a very, very defensive manager. Um and uh, you know what, I, I don't really think um, you know he would be successful at Huddersfield. I don't think you know. I think he's more. Um, I think he's more of a Premier League, keeping the team up manager rather than pushing for promotion manager. So yeah, I think I don't know. I think they need a manager. You know, if they want to get promoted to the Premier League, I'm not saying that they are, but if they do want to get uh, promoted. I think what they need to do is that you know they need to get in a manager, you know, who will, um, you know, who who has experience and you know like a manager like Chris Hutton. So I I think it'd be I think he will be like the perfect choice 
or you know there's um i don't think you should go for alan pardew i really don't i mean his record is pretty much as bad as sievert you know what he, he he didn't succeed at west brom he won one game in the in the premier league and that was against a brighton i believe so yeah um I don't know. Um, I think you know there's plenty of experienced managers out there. I think Chris Hewton's a standout option. Mourinho's available, but he wouldn't go to Huddersfield, would he? Um, you know, I don't think he'd. You know, he's too good for the Championship. So, yeah. So yeah. Um, Jan Siever has been sacked, and I think rightly so. Uh, I believe it will be. Um, I don't know if the assistant's gone. Uh, they got a new assistant this this uh, summer called Colin Bell. I don't know whether he will be um, in charge. I think it will be Mark Hudson because he took charge of the Huddersfield against Man City game, which was a uh, three 0 to City. So who knows? But anyway, um, I just thought I'd do bring up a bit of news on that. I did say the other day I'd do a um, a preview for the uh, for United's game against Wolves on Monday. I'm gonna do that on. Uh, I'll do that on Sunday when I'm uh, not really busy. So I will see you Sunday, and I'll do it then. Uh, goodbye, love you all. Uh, peace out, Brad is out.